¿Cuántos años tiene esta paciente? ¿Cuántos años tiene la paciente? Estamos en vivo. No. Yeah. So, uh, hello, good afternoon. Uh, welcome back. I think it's, this is the first transmission from our last transmission last year. Oh no, this is the second one. Okay, so uh, we have a very nice and very interesting case. Uh, this is a 86 years old woman that was sent to us because uh, suspected uh, a stone in the beer truck. Uh, it was uh, suspected by abdominal ultrasound. However, this patient have um, uh, clinical aspects and clinical settings of, uh, of, uh, of a pr probably of, uh, of uh, cancer because uh, there is a history of uh, weight uh, loss and uh, very important jaundice uh, during the last uh, two months. So uh, what we found today, as you can see here, uh, we have a important dilation of the biliary tract, the left intrahepatic biliary tract. But the problem of this patient it is that uh, she have also uh, an stenosis from the uh, common bile duct, as you can see here. So now, now I am uh, using uh, cholangioscopy uh, with the spy glass. Podemos ver la imagen del spy glass, por favor. So uh, we see here the bifurcation, the left and the right the hepatic. Uh, by that, we see also an aspect of uh, an inflammatory aspect of the bile duct, as you can see here. And this is uh, probably because of uh, cholang cholangitis that this that this patient already had. So this is inflammation. And this is the uh, the the start of the uh, of the malignancy uh, infiltration. This is an infiltration of the bile duct, as you can see here. It's a star here. So, uh, in order to clarify a little bit, we can see uh, an irregularity of the wall with uh, some kind of infiltration and neovascularization also. and a lot of fibrosis area, fibrotic areas. You can see here down at six hour, you can see uh, the neovascularization areas, areas. So with a lot of fibrosis and it's, um, as uh, my good friend uh, Isaac Reichman always says, uh, you pass, just pass with the scope and this start to bleeding. So. To my opinion, um, there are some parameters of uh, of um, neoplasia that is uh, taking the the bile duct, the common bile duct, as you can see here. So. Uh, you see the extension of the lesion, we can see very well. I think that the condition of this patient is not more for surgery because of the age. And um, first we will start uh, evaluating this area. You can see here with a uh, confocal laser and the microscopy just to see uh, uh, live uh, the cells and uh, to try to confirm the diagnosis of uh, colonial carcinoma in this patient 
And then, uh, as a second step, if we confirm that, we will take uh, some biopsies just to take here. And finally, we will start a treatment with uh, radio frequency. So uh, this is the planning treatment for this patient today. So uh, I will start using my confocal. Por favor, confocal. Oh, my team is very good, huh? They already, she already had the the confocal here. Okay, so let me pass on the fluoroscene. Podemos ver el confocal, por favor. Some areas of dark clumps here. There is not a normal wall here. There are red blood cells. So here, you can see here, some there are some areas of epithelium. Uh, uh, there is very regular area here and dark clumps. So I think it's um, there are some criteria of confocal also confirming that uh, this is a colonic carcinoma. There are some areas of inflammation also. So I think it's very important here uh, to take a very good decision where we will tra take uh, our biopsy. Again, so we, we have here uh, some dark clumps area and irregular areas as this one. This is very good, huh? very good image. So I try to s identify uh, at least a uh, uh, big vessel area, just to have tri three cr criteria uh, before to take the biopsies. So I am looking for that. That's the way I w I use my confocal. So remember, we have dark clumps, we have uh, irregularity, we have. Uh, a villus pattern in one area, so you see here this is uh but I think uh, probably because of fibrosis uh, should be difficult. This is a big vessel, so I think uh, we confirmed the diagnosis. Why three criteria? Because uh, okay, dame, dame la pinza. Because uh, Some studies uh, already show it that the momento. That when we have more than three criteria, the specificity and sensibility. Uh, increase for the diagnosis of cholangiocarcinoma even though I think uh, there are some other criteria that we need to evaluate in the future using confocal so uh, so I, I lost my position And now I try to to go inside again.
So I am trying to put my spy scope inside. So we need to be a little bit close. So we are inside now. So I will need the necessito la pinza. I will need the the forceps, the spy bite forceps. Okay. So again, this is the lesion. This is the start of the lesion. I will show you in the fluoroscopy. It's very large lesion. ¿Tienes la pinza adentro o no? No, no, no. Perdemos mucho la posición, ¿no? So, it's a, a little bit difficult this case because I... I... I cannot sustain my position also, I am using a 4.8 uh, Dodenos code. So now. Come on, mess. So one tip uh, for go inside is uh, to be close and then to perform a, a small up of the head. So we have um, the visual impression criteria, we have the clinical criteria and we have the confocal criteria of a comanche carcinoma. So we will start a treatment here. Okay, la pinza, por favor. So you see the neovascularization again. So remember that the visual impression give us a an accuracy at least of 94 percent so it's a very high for the sensibility okay abre sierra abre sierra 
So when you are passing the the spy byte, sometimes it it could be difficult. So you can open and close the spy byte, and this will pass. Okay, so now we have our spy bite here, and I will start to take my biopsies. Where is the best side, Abre? Okay, always the best side to take the biopsies when you see the vessels, to my expert opinion. Sierra? Because if not, you will not take cells and you will take probably more uh, fibrotic tissue and it's not uh, good for the pathologist, okay? So remember that we have a small small pieces of uh, these biopsies, forceps, okay? Again? No? Abre. Okay, so now I'm going down. You see? Sometimes you need to go up and go down just to. to open. Okay, cierra. Okay, toma. So now I am again at the level of the bifurcation. The confluence. Mandose. I will take one, one biopsy more. And then I will pass my guide wire. I will inject also contrast and then I will start my radio frequency and finally I will put uh, two plastic stands one in in each by that okay so okay okay there are some people from Medellin looking now from San Vicente of Medellin huh? Medellin is a nice place huh we need to visit a little bit more. I just visit once. Hmm? I think it's one of the, of the modern city of uh, Latin America. So... Uh, so I want to take the biopsy from this area. So this is uh, a five o'clock area, so it's not so diff so easy, but you need to move a little bit uh, your scope and... Uh, okay, Sierra? Okay, perfect. Okay, you need to feel also when, when the biopsy forces advance. Okay, I need now to pass contrast. Contraste, por favor. Ok, perfecto. Más contraste. Contraste. Ok, toma foto. Ok, pasa la guía. No, ¿qué hiciste? 
Ok, dame un finter automo para pasarla aquí. So I will go out with my spyglass. I will pass directly with my sphincter automo. And I will pass my radio frequency. So how it works radio frequency? We are we are using the radio frequency from Taiwan Medical and StarMed. So um, uh, this is a pre-setting uh, radio frequency. It works um, 75 degrees of uh, temperature and two minutes and 10 watts. Ok, pasa la guía e inyecta contra esto. Ok, perfecto. So we are very good now. Inyecta. Ok. Ok, empuja. So we can see the stenosis, the stenotic area, and we left in place uh, or guide wire. Finally, I, I will pass my radio frequency now. This patient doesn't have gallbladder. No tiene vesícula, ¿verdad? So this patient have a, a gallbladder inside, and if you see, even with cholangiography, we cannot plane, so there is a tumoral invasion of the cystic duct of this patient. So I think it's very important to drain the gallbladder in this patient because the risk of uh, cholecystitis uh, is very high in accordance to our study that will be published uh, soon. There is a question from cons ah, Luci Lucio Diaz, Vélez y Álvaro Gómez. L Lucio Diaz Concepción Uruguay, Argentina. Saludos, Lucio. So, uh, so we will perform a treatment, a complete treatment of this patient. This patient have a uh, a lot of uh, interesting uh, situations. First, the age of the patient. Second, there is a non-resectable uh, cholangiocarcinoma. Three, we will perform a palliative treatment with radio frequency and uh, plastic stents. But uh, I think it's uh, very important to drain the gallbladder because we cannot have uh, there is an invasion of the cystic duct and the risk of uh, to develop uh, cholecystitis in uh, in a mean of 100 days is very high. So remember that the patients with cholangiocarcinoma could uh, be alive a little bit. Uh, more than a pancreatic cancer or whatever other cancer so you can see here this is the catheter we see the segment of uh, radio frequency there and now the idea is uh ten ten okay let's see so it's very important the help of uh, you can see at fluoroscopy Okay, so this is the this is the the catheter at fluoroscopy. Podemos ver la fluoroscopia, por favor. So and this this is the area between both the uh, segments uh, that we can see at the X-ray. So. Uh, This is the area to be treated initially, okay? 
we will perform the radio frequency. I don't know if we have a camera just to show this. So I, I start my radio frequency now. It's a very simple uh, treatment. So it is a presetting treatment treatment. So it's two minutes of radio frequency. So then I I will go a little bit down also because the extension of the lesion just to perform a second radio frequency of the area. And then we will place two plastic sands. Yes. I will perform a balloon dilation. Puedes mostrar las otras imágenes, por favor. Okay, no, 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 anterior. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if you can see that. Muestra la, el equipo. ¿no? Bolaños. So we have one minute and 41. So now we finish the first uh, radio frequency. So you see here, this is the press setting uh, machine. So it's two minutes, 75 degrees of the temperature and 10 watts. Okay, so I will go down here and I will do, I will perform my second radio frequency in this area. Okay, now. So we start. We have uh, a small sound of the machine when it starts. And we have uh, a small bell saying that it is finished so you don't need uh, to see uh, the time so now I have the chance to see the time so we have uh, 33 seconds and you see the impedance of 72 Necesito un balón de dilatación de 8, 9, 10. So I will perform a balloon dilation next as a next step. And then I will put two plastic stands. And finally we will perform a gold lighter drainage.
Ese está bien, 6, 7, 8. No más. Ok, so we finish now. Ok, I, I push, empuja. So it's very important to, to see the temperature. We need that the temperature goes down until 35 degrees. 37. So cor corporal temperature. Okay, the normal temperature. Because if not, you will perform a damage of the dodenoscope. What is that? Hmm? So we see the temperature is now is 41 degrees. So it's, it's not it's not ready, huh? 40 degrees. 39 So ca Carlos Donais, hello. Thank you for for looking our channel. So now we are at 38 degrees. I think it's okay. So we can leave now. So you see my my guy g wire. I think it's on the left. By that. Now I will perform a balloon dilation before to pass my two. Yo creo que son de 12 necesito, ¿eh? 12 centímetros. 10 por 12, ok. 10 by 12. Sí, hay que cargar otro aquí. Ok, gracias. Balón. Balón. So now we we'll use a creep balón. balloon. Uh, this balloon have uh, three diameters, six, seven, and eight millimeters. So the idea, the idea of dilation is. Uh, just to perform a easier way to pass the two plastic stands. So I am passing my balloon. No. So now we are perfect now. Puedes dilatar por favor hasta 8 millimeters. So for 8 millimeters we have uh, we have to perform a insufflation pressure of uh, 10 atm. We are there? Okay. I think it's okay. Huh? We will wait uh, one minute at, l at least. And then you will give me another guy wire. I am using the Cook Spintrotom. I like it. It's a good, uh, it's a good uh, product. Okay, so finish now. Prepara el eco. Y un axios. Empuja la guía, por favor. Empuja la guía. 
So you can use also a metallic stand, uh, fully covered, but the problem is the risk of migration. So I think it's better to use uh, just two plastic stands. I will review this patient in a few weeks, at least eight weeks, uh, just to see how is going the necrosis of the cholangiocarcinoma. See. Okay. So I am passing again my sphincterotome now. And now I will try to perform a selection of uh, el gastroscopio. So now I pass. Okay, empuja por favor. So now we are in the right side, you see? So one guy where is in the left side. And the other one is in the right side. So empuja, empuja. So very well now. So you see uh, the yellow one, guy wire, is in the left intrahepatic duct. The no, yeah, no. The other one is just in the right hepatic duct. So now, ah, la del lado izquierdo. So this is a very good question. What should be my first uh, plastic stent? I think it's better always to pass the that one that have uh, an angulation because uh, if this is more right it's easier to pass so you can see so I will pass first the yellow one one uh, plastic stem uh, This stand is uh, 12 centimeters, 10 French. That's it? That's good. Perfect. The idea is uh, to have a good drainage. Okay, let's go. So I am using the o Oasis system. Oasis? So now we are in the left la left left side. Okay, ya libera. So we have here our stand. This is a plastic stand. También. Okay, we are very good. Okay, libera. Okay. And now we we'll pass the second ascent. Ah? Uh, no, diez doce. Diez doce. I will use a larger stand because of the risk of migration also, so a 10, 12, yes. So it's very important that your team is uh, working with you, your assistant and uh, your technicians, because this is, uh, it will 
help us to work faster. Before you are thinking, they already perform what you need. Okay, liberemos. So we are very good now. I will try to give a little bit of force with the scope. Ten. Ten. So I am taking my large position just to give force with my... You see? With my scope. Now I am good. A little bit more force. So we are passing. You see? You see my stand? My stand is going up, huh? Oh, we are we're up. Okay, so now we will we will deliver this stand. Wait, wait. Okay, libera. Perfect. So now we have both both stand. One in the right. You see the air going in the left. Intrapathic bile duct, and also in the right intrapathic by that so now we are perfect i think this is a very good drainage we will review this patient in uh, eight weeks you see there is error so i am very very happy with the treatment uh, but now we have uh, to solve another problem of this patient, that is the gallbladder is, is not draining. So uh, we will perform a gallbladder drainage. So if you have questions, you can list the questions and we will try to give some response as soon as possible. So now I am using uh, Pentex uh, US scope. This is the J10 UT series. This is the new from Pentex. As you can see here, uh, this uh, scope you can perform at uh, 360 degrees and the tip of the scope is uh, is new uh, it's uh, very small so uh, and this uh, scope have a uh, 4.0 work working channel So Joaquin Rivas from Santa Marta is saying hello to us. Hello Joaquin. So thank you for following our live endoscopy channel. 
So now, um, I will, I will, I am looking for my gold blader. So this is a gold blader, huh? Mm. I think it's an atrophic gold blader, huh? And there are stones inside. You see? I think uh, there is uh, also ascites, but small amount. Uh, I think. Uh, so uh, why we would perform um, gold bladder drainage? Lucio Diaz. Okay. So we have uh, a study that we will present um, and uh, award uh, during the end of 2020 in Brazil, the World Endoscopy uh, uh, Congress, World Congress, where we show that patients with uh, with uh, cholangiocarcinoma or pancreatic cancer that uh, that occlude uh, the cystic duct increase the risk of uh, to perform uh, cholecystitis so in mean 100 days and the risk of complications uh, of this is high uh, increasing the mortality of the patient and the morbidity of the patient and at the same time this is the gallbladder huh? so and at the same time uh, it's better than uh, surgical treatment. So a prophylactic treatment is uh, mandatory in this patient. I think that this patient also has a cholecystitis. Huh? If you can see here, uh, there is no drainage. A lot of uh, stones and the wall is thick. Four millimeters. So this patient have a cholecystitis also. So that's that's the situation. We need to solve all the problems of the patient now in one step, and we can do it. I will not wait that this patient perform a complication. So I, in this case, in this particular case, I will use a needle before with with a guide wire. So we are in in a good place now. I think it's the best um, the best case that I can show the situations that we can have with these patients uh, with cholangiocarcinoma or pancreatic cancer that uh, perform obstruction of uh, of the bile duct of the cystic duct. I'm sorry. So. So you see, there is a lot of stones inside. So I will use a 10 by 10 millimeter hot axis to perform a drainage. You see the thickness of this wall. And you see also, uh, you saw, I, I'm sorry, a few minutes ago, that there is not way to perform a drainage uh, there is um, involvement of the cystic duct. It's a very interesting case, I think. Huh? So I am inside. Huh? Let me see. So now. I will perform an aspiration just to confirm. Okay, look. Who performed this question? Lucio Diaz? Okay, the, the plan is this one. You see? This patient have pus inside the gallbladder. So this patient will perform, you see here, look, 
This patient will perform in few hours or few days a very uh, big complication of uh, of this gallbladder. So now I am passing contrast now. Look, look, the whole gallbladder is okay. Water, agua. So that's why, that's the reason. The problem is that this patient already have a cholecystitis, but not systematic cholecystitis. And we are not looking at this problem. And these patients, we don't see the follow-up because we lose this patient because they go with the surgeon. And at the same time, after the surgery, because of the cancer, this patient will have a complication. This is an excellent explanation. And that's the reason why. So I will pass my guy wire like that. I am very good now. And puja. Okay, momento. So it's very important to have this this image. The guy wire going inside because this is the this is the way that we need to pass the espacio. And puja. We need to pass or hot axis okay is I am using the guy wire because I cannot see nothing using uh, my US alone see so it's very important to drain this fuse because the patient we have a complication and this patient could have uh, at least a little bit more of uh, life with good conditions so always the quality of life is important also so i invite you to assist uh, or oral presentation lecture or lecture during uh, the plenary session of endo 2020 with the results of this technique in patients with obstruction of the cystic duct okay empuja. okay so now Okay, I am very good now. In a very good position. ¿Quién dijo eso? Ve Vela. From where? Where 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 are you? In what country? So, if you see at the end uh, this video will be available in a few minutes, so you can see again, we do a radio frequency of the bile duct. So, uh, uh, this was already performed. So now I am using uh, a hot axis of, of uh, 10 millimeters. Why of 10 millimeters? Because the stones uh, the risk uh, is less than uh, uh, to perform an obstruction of this axis. So now I am fine. So it's very important that your assistant help you. Okay, now, perfect. Okay. Okay, necesito que alguien me ayude a tener aquí. ¿no? So perfect. So 
So I am inside. I can see in the fluoroscopy because by US I cannot see nothing now. Now I will open now. You see? My stand is open. I cannot see very well. It's not very well open. So I need to push a little bit. Very difficult case, huh? A lot of stones. So. Now my idea is uh, to try to have a good position now and to push a little bit. So now we are in a, a special situation. Huh? So what will I, d I do now? Okay, I will open the second part. I think it's open, huh? The problem is the the problem is is the the stones. Yes, we are we are going we are we are well. But at the end, just to be sure. Empuja la guía. Empuja la guía. So. So, don't lose the guy wire. It's, it's good though. Okay, empuja. So you can see by the US or axis here. And now I will pass a balloon just to perform a dilation. Balloon of 8 millimeters, huh? Balloon de 8 millimeters. No, prefiero uno nuevo, ¿eh? Y vamos a dejar una prótesis en cola de cerdo. Uno de pequeño. No, de 10 no. Uno de 7.5 si hay. Por 4. So, is this is a transduodenal? I think it's raining now. It's raining. Okay. Yes. 
Ok, está bien. ¿Malón? Ok, ya. Yeah. Hala. This is why it's very important to have a um, better working channel in the US scope. So this was just possible because of Pentax, huh? Really, thank you. Huh? For therapeutic, it's a very important uh, advance. Look, the 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 pus the pus is coming. So you see the guy wire there. Okay, dilata. Very good. Sí. Okay, listo. Desinfla. I think we are okay, huh? I will let just the the Desinflaste todo. Ok, we will. No. Ok, I will use one gastroscope now. Just for to perform aspiration now. So here, look. So it's open. I will pass water. You see? I think it's perfect. It's a good drainage now. to see just oh it's okay it's okay yes I pass just by this way huh? Now I am cleaning now, you see? So the gold blader is rented and we finish our procedure. The patient is very well. 
So thank you so much. I think it's, uh, this case was a very interesting case. And we start with the cholangiocarcinoma. carcinoma. We see the diagnosis, the treatment, and uh, also a complication of this uh, cancer with uh, cholecystitis with pus that was drained by US. I would like to invite you to our live endoscopy congress that will be in May. 22, 22? Yes, 22, 23, and 24 of May. There is a lot of very good experts from worldwide, from Netherlands. There is Paul Falkens coming. Um, also from United States, uh, Latin America, my good friend uh, uh, Eduardo and uh, Diogo de Moura are coming this year. Um, my good friend from New York, Ambrita Set, is coming. So there is a lot of uh, very good speakers now for this uh, live demo uh, with the lectures that will be during three days. And there is an important aspect of this year. We will have uh, two seasons of uh, hands-on. So please uh, subscribe you and perform your registration because uh, we are almost full so thank you so much for your attention and uh, have a nice uh, rest of the day